Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Arta Bisgaya and Hikaru Nakamura. This game was played in New Jersey in 1998. Arta Bisgaya had white pieces and he started with d4. Nakamura played a knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, and Nakamura played bishop to g7. This is the last chance to play d5 and to go into the Grunfeld defense, but Nakamura wanted to play King's Indian defense. e4, d6, so we have a King's Indian defense. Bishop to g5, Nakamura castle at king's side. White to move, Bishop to e2, and f3 are two most popular moves in this position. Bisgaya played f4. Very ambitious, isn't it? Four pawns pushed. How should black continue? What would you do? Nakamura played c5, attacking white center. d5. It is black to move. What would you do now? The most popular move is queen to a5, pinning the knight, threatening knight takes pawn on a4. This is not what Nakamura played. Nakamura played b5, sacrificing the pawn, and Bisgaya captured the pawn with pawn. Of course, if knight takes on b5, then knight takes pawn on a4 and black is better. So we have c takes on b5. a6. This looks like Benko Gambit, doesn't it? Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Knight to f3. Queen to b6, attacking the pawn on b2. Rook to b1. c4, preventing white from castling. Queen to e2. Rook from f to c8. Queen to f2. White wants to exchange queens. Or perhaps just to castle king side black to move. What would you do? What is the strongest move? Knight to c5 is the strongest. Threatening knight to d3 check, winning the queen. So Bisgaya castled kingside. Black to move. Find the best move for black. Again. <laughs> This is very important move. Wins the game. Knight to g4. Attacking the queen. Queen to e2. Your move again. What would you do? Well, Nakamura played knight takes pawn on e4. Knight to d3 is also good. We have knight takes pawn on e4. This is discovered check. King to h1. Knight from g to f2 check. King to g1. Knight to h3 double check. King to h1. Knight from e to f2 check. White has no choice. He must capture the knight with rook. Knight takes rook check. King to g1, your move. Should be easy. Knight to e4. Well, if you found knight to d1, it's also good. So this is also a good move. Does the same job. We have knight to e4. White resigned in view of this continuation. King to h1 and then 
Knight takes knight on c3, forking the queen and the rook. And if, of course, pawn takes knight, queen takes rook, and black has huge material advantage. Nicely played game by Hikaru Nakamura. How many moves did you guess? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.